Hey everybody, David the AI Guide here. Welcome to another episode and thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, occasional Medium articles and even on LinkedIn now. So, our mission here at the AI Guide is making AI human and that is really focusing on the human impact of this avalanche of new technology coming out of the AI cluster. And today's article really illustrates all those points well. So there is a startup in San Francisco called Plainsight, which has worked with one of the largest cattle producers in the United States called JBS USA. And they have created a computer vision AI system that counts cows. I didn't know some of this until I read this article. I knew some of, some things, of course, because I'm a farm kid. But this company, JPS, uh, slaughters 1,000 to 5,000 cows a day to provide the meat that Americans eat. That's a lot of animals. <laughs> And so with that many animals to manage, they were having a, not a large error rate, but a pretty high error rate in human beings counting these. And when you're talking about 5,000 animals a day times a year, you're talking about thousands and thousands of animals. And so a miscount, even at a small percentage, becomes big. And humans had about a 2.5% error rate. That means that 97.5% of the counting was accurate, but 2.5% was not accurate. For JBS, that ends up being thousands and thousands of cattle uh, that that vanished within their processes. Um, that's not good. I mean, that really hurts the profitability of this company. So they worked with Plainsight to develop a sensor-driven, again, you know, the triumvirate, sensors, AI, the algorithm, and computing power. That's where NVIDIA comes into this story. They worked with Plainsight to develop a computer vision system, i.e. AI and sensors, to count cows. And they had to work on the algorithm for a while, right? I mean, when an algorithm is first written and it's given its initial data, it makes errors but you keep feeding it more and more data. And they took a test location and got the algorithm more and more accurate over time to where now they're ready to start rolling it out to all their operations. So that uh, this AI is now nearly 100% accurate, 99.5%. That 2% of thousands and thousands and thousands of animals a year adds up to millions of dollars of profit improvement. So what does this mean in the context of human impact that we talk about? What it means is that there's a lot of people hired by this company to count cows. And once this system totally rolls out, they will not need those people. Now, this is a pretty basic task, right? So what they can do, companies like JBS have very, very high turnover. They can move these people from counting cattle to other uh, more productive things um, that uh, the, where the company may be short on manpower. Meat processing industry is tough, tough working conditions, so the turnover is very, very high. And this AI helps JBS make its operations more consistent and more profitable. And this is why AI is going to be used, right? It's about companies trying to make themselves more efficient and more profitable. And that's 
One of the primary responsibilities of companies is to continually improve themselves and make themselves progressively more efficient and profitable. Why? Because that way they can pay their employees, they can pay their shareholders, and they can, if they're so minded, give back to the co community through a number of initiatives that many corporations do. And there's a couple of side benefits of this for JBS. One is that it provides much, much better traceability and they've worked with a fourth company. So uh, Plain Sight provides the AI computer vision. NVIDIA provides the computer processing that runs the AI. And Cattle Pass is a company that allows farmers to track individual cattle from the day they're born through their life cycle to sale to companies like JBS and then for JBS to track that individual animal all the way through their production system. So uh, this allows prevention of disease and it also allows for providing better environmental situations for the animals because once you have this kind of individual animal traceability, you get a sense through their health that's being tracked what how the conditions of this whole meat packing industry process affects the animals and they can make changes that will gradually improve the experience of the animals to the end point. Uh, so this is good for the animals and good for the company because the more they can reduce stress levels on the animals, the more healthy the animals are and the more profitable the, the company is. So all of this ties together and we can see that this is a circumstance, and it says it right in the article, link to be provided, that um, the company is doing this and hired Plain Sight because the AI was clearly better materially and financially in helping JBS improve their operations and profitability. And that's why companies are gonna be using AI. And it's interesting, I was talking with some people at dinner uh, this past week and they were asking me about the AI guide and I was explaining to them why I'm doing this, which is to help young people prepare for an AI driven future and pick career paths that are relatively safe from the displacement of tens of millions of jobs in the United States alone that's coming this decade from AI. But I said to them, also, this is inevitable. And the reason why is stated specifically in this article by the a company representative of JBS, that it's more profitable for us to use this than to not use it and to use humans. And there you have it. So, as always, click the link below, get your free resource, Use the resource, start to learn more about AI, start to prepare yourself because as I've said at the end of almost all of my recent video, uh, videos, you will be required to use AI in any job you have from the middle of this decade, 2025 roughly going forward. Everyone will be having to use AI as part of their work. So it's time to start understanding it and preparing for this change. We're gonna be providing more resources shortly. Uh, we're working on that right now. Uh, so thank goodness that uh, I have a great team that I work with and they can help me creatively and also uh, tactically get you some of these resources. So thanks for tuning in. Another great example in agriculture of AI changing things and another great example of AI, unfortunately, 
having a human impact, but in this case, the people used to count cows will be used in other functions by JBS. That's not always true, but fortunately in this case it is, and that's driven by their turnover. So thanks a lot. We'll see you next time, and have a great rest of the week.